Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena. This time on the map, Brandy Hills. And we both picked random. And it's gonna turn into a Mordor Mirror match. Okay. The age of men is over. The time of the Orc has come. Alright, boys. So it's all about spamming Orcs today. If you enjoy the orc spam, this one is for you. The matchup that requires the least amount of micro, but a lot of micro, because orcs are the only units in this game you don't mind really losing, you know? If you lose them, it's okay. Here it's not about quality, it's about quantity. So we need to spam orcs all over the place to fill the entire map with them. And for that reason, one orc pit is not gonna do the job. We need two, three, maybe maybe even four, you know? I mean, this matchup can go either way. Eco management is super important here. And of course, macro map control, like in almost every matchup. You know what can be also good in this matchup? To skip the land and, you know, to instantly rush the scavenger spell from the spell book. You know what I'm saying? Because what's land gonna do? If I pick land and use it, he will just cover it. So if I just skip the land, I can get scavenger. Because if I want to get industry, I need to get land first, you know? If I skipped all of these, I can get scavenger into the darkness, into the Balrog. So this one is gonna be also the fastest possible way of unlocking the Balrog in BFME 1 as Mordor. So I, I like the idea actually. Let's do this. Because I don't play this matchup usually that often but it can be fun from time to time so i'm gonna go for the orc pit number three i think that's gonna be the orc pits amount i will build in this game in my main castle but you can also go for orc pit number four you can even go for orc pit number five but need to be careful if you have like too many orc pits you can fill up your population way too quickly and then you will not be able to produce any more orcs so i think three is like a great number you know what i'm saying so you can give them numbers and then you can set waypoints I go this, here you go there, you know what I'm saying? And we sp spam them, we spam them. Because the age of men is over. Gothmog would be proud. And also a quick question to you guys. Uh, which faction in BFME 1 alongside Gondor, Rohan, Isengard and Mordor do you like the most? For me personally, I really dislike Mordor's design of a uh, thing. I don't like to play with Mordor, but even less, I don't like to play against Mordor. Like Mordor is such a painful faction. Like when you play against them, the, the, the amount of flying heroes they have, the amount of sheer leadership power they got, makes it so annoying to play against and also it's super unique right and by the way creeping is super easy because again we don't mind about losing orcs we actually sneaked there with one of the orcs so not bad not good for me let's pressure up a little bit okay i need to demolish this and creep get more settlements around this lambert mill should be protected no problemo and we keep up the pressure all the time so you can already tell and feel that our opponent didn't ha didn't build three orc pits. So in this matchup, when you play this mirror, you want to kind of match your opponent's um, orc pit amount. Like when he has three orc pits, you want to have three orc pits or four. You want to have either the same amount or even one more than them. Super important. Like the same way when you play good against good, for example, right? And you see your opponent is like on a big map, like. Vault for not Vault. West Vault, for example, you see your opponent is like four Rohirrim and you try to play with three. That will mean that you will lose the map no matter what. So you need to always match the primary unit in the, in the mirror match, you know? In our case, it's of course Mordor with the Orcs. <laughs> Dude, so many Orcs, bro. Let's go. <laughs> And I will, like I mentioned before, I will skip the land and go for the scavenger immediately. Now you might go crazy here and also go, oh my god, Gollum, Gollum, Gollum. What, what am I saying? Gollum! 
Might also go crazy here and go for the cold heart. You know, it's a possibility to just like press the button and fill up your command points with orcs exclusively. Remember in 2.22, the cold heart ability doesn't only affect. Now we got the power boys, scavenger and lot. The cold heart also affects all the production buildings. So you mumaki mumaki pan, siege work, stroll kit, harader in Paris, you know. But obviously, darkness. If you have a strong army. It's always better. If you don't have an army, of course, you go with the Call the Heart. Which, which also has a shorter cooldown than Darkness. Uh, the outpost control is kind of guaranteed by the, by the, I mean, protected with the creep, the mountain, no, the Keef Trolls, you know? So it's not easy to be taken unless you go for Haradrim Palace. But I will show you how you can also creep the troll layer with orcs, okay? So be careful. Let me make this a bit more educational because I'm assuming that the skill level between this player and myself isn't, you know, nearly as close as you might think. So I can maybe use this game as an educational gameplay, you know what I'm saying? So you can maybe learn a thing or two. So we go there and... Um, Basically the same concept like with the uh, Vorks, you know, but a bit more tricky because the Vorks are not as strong as Trolls. Trolls have splash damage, they can hit and kill multiple Orcs at, at the same time, but the concept is the same. So we basically get three Orcs, maybe you can even do this with like two battalions of Orcs, you know, but it's just going to take more time. But the thing is, you lure him without getting too close to him, okay? And the second you see him, look, he's going to charge now and then I can move bring the orcs and then at some point he will stop chasing and this point is going to be around here maybe a little bit more forward and then you press s so now the troll will go back and forth you know oh, be careful, oh my god <laughs> okay now that's perfect perfect and now he will not uh, disturb me you know and then you can even go and do something crazy and lure the cave troll to your enemy too you know that's also a possibility but you can see that's how you can creep even with orcs And then a new horde of orc that's gonna be in your dreams, you know, in your ears. Oh my god, boys. We have orcs everywhere. I don't even know. I have like too many. I lost the count, you know. I lost the count. But we're gonna go for the outpost control here. Once we deal with the orcs, and then in the outpost we can build, if you want to, more orc pits. And you see we lure the troll to his settlement, that's even better, you know what I'm saying? And you see, because of the uh, more orc pit technology, we basically outspam our opponent and will always end up having greater map control. I'm gonna build a tower there actually, let's go. Just because I believe this troll will return at some point, you know? He will always return where his home was originally, unless he dies on his way. Okay, now Paul Point Rise will just, you know, try to get to the... Um, say it, to the darkness. That's the power spike we are looking for. And there are a few ways you can play this matchup. Like, I could basically get very strong right now and skip the witch king go for it for combos and then go for drummer troll and then rush forward you know that's also a possibility but because we have such a huge advantage we can also go for the for the witch king first you know which king always gonna add a lot of um favor to your army but you could also play this matchup without the witch king you know you basically need like three you need at bare minimum though listen to me you need at bare minimum you need three combos for the, and then you need Drummer Troll to give them leadership. Because if you have only two combos, he might go for a Nazgul and mess you up. So three combos and Drummer, and you can go. Oh, this troll is gonna go crazy. We can do the same thing here, by the way. Creep also the troll at the bottom. But this one is a bit more tricky because it's kinda in a weird spot. Oh my god, the choke point. <laughs> I need to sacrifice one more, actually. I need to sacrifice one more. Because of the, you know, poor uh, micromanagement. 
But luckily, we have not only one orc we can sacrifice. Now it's time for the troll cage. We are kind of poor though. Oh my god, he's actually attacking me for the first time after a long time. The reason why he's such a, such uh, behind, I'm assuming he's, he has only one or most likely two Orc Pits in total. And that's the main reason why he's getting out spammed. So when you play this matchup next time, you know the, the secret, you know? Match the Orc Pit number to your opponent. And split them up, you know? Ideally, you want to send them two by two. But you can also do that one by one. Don't send them five by five, though. You know, that's like... You want to be a bit more efficient with um, diversity on the map. Look, he has no chance. You see, he has one, two combos. These combos can't deal with my Witch King. That's just not possible. My, my Witch King is going to eat them alive. <laughs> you see, the troll <laughs> is taking care of his slaughterhouse. I mean, right now we are controlling the entire game, you know, as, uh, as expected. We have such a huge lead. You can always take a look into the mini map to just, like, know the standings. So we can now play it kind of lazy, kind of sm slow, but that's how you dominate. You can see that a few mistakes can definitely affect the outcome of the game a lot. Um, maybe my opponent, not maybe, probably, most likely, actually, he isn't experienced in this matchup either. But if you will watch the video... He will be experienced for the next game, you know? The most tricky matchup, though, it's not this one. It's definitely Isengard Mirror match because their one mystique can, in, you know, kind of impact the whole game. This matchup is basically uh, playing around the orb pits for the, for the majority of the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, for the first 10 minutes, 12 minutes into the game, you basically play with orcs, and then your goal is to protect your settlements and destroy their settlements until you get a huge army so you don't go for the bees until very late you know what i'm saying but also here you can do one or other things a bit differently than i did because i rushed the witch king as i knew i have a big big advantage over my opponent and i can do most most likely multiple things simultaneously um other people though like to go for the troll cage a bit earlier because remember, to get the troll keys to level 2, you need to, first of all, recruit 4 mountain trolls in total. And that's, of course, not about the money, but it's about the time you need to invest into that. So most people go for the troll cage. With trolls, you can also clean up the orcs way easy on the map. You can keep your settlements a bit uh, easier on the field. And then you also get to get the drummer to a lot faster, you know? Now you make combos, drummer, and then by the time you reach the opposite side of the map, you can still go for your witch king. But the trolls will make it easier for you to keep your settlements protected. That's the main point of going for the troll cage early. You know what I'm saying? So we go for the for the towering up. Uh, my opponent has I, I haven't seen many trolls yet. For him, I mean not trolls yet. He's having skinny combos. Combos without leadership can't deal with my witch king. That's not possible. Oh, but I see a flying guy. Oh, it's a witch king actually. Okay, now it's a different situation. Now he has also more damage on his combos, making it a bit more difficult for me to commit. But I will commit anyway very soon uh, with my whole army, you know what I'm saying? Let's level up. Uh, one major thing you need to pay attention in this matchup to is the uh, immunity to fear effects, okay? That's super important, because remember in 2.22, the effect of fear also works on level 2 units. But each faction... You know, maybe Eisen, Mordor, Gondor, Rohan have a way of 
you know, negating the effect of the fear. In the Mordor keys, it's the Eye of Sauron. So you want to time it when you see a Nazgul flying into your army, use Eye of Sauron. That means the screech from the enemy won't affect your combos anymore. Okay, I like to have two drummers. But I want to wait for the second one. I can send him later on to join the army. If you have only one drummer troll, you need to be careful about him. You know, you don't want to lose the drummer. Super important. Go. March to Helm's Deep. Leave none alive. I and mean, it was uh, actually kind of fun to play, not gonna lie, you know? This one was enjoyable. I hope you guys also enjoying <laughs> the Orc Fiesta. Oh, is it gonna be a beast swap, actually? I'm gonna tower up a little bit. You can press U button on your keyboard, like this, and then right click on your combo. It will cause the drummer troll to follow your combo. So you don't need to microwave the drummer troll anymore. And what you can also do is give him the whole crown stance. It's a battle stance. It will prevent him from attacking unless you order him to attack. So he's gonna be like a walking statue. It's really his only mission. I have darkness too. I'm gonna use it. The boom. Darkness. Oh, he went for the cold horde. What a giga chat. What a giga chat. I like the cold horde, bro. Boom. I have sorrow. I see you. Just put him all on the on the whole ground stands. Oh, he's coming actually to me. And I have zero defenses. Uh, but is this army capable of destroying my beast though? I'm gonna have to send my witch king in. I'm assuming. And I will show you that without the drummer troll, uh, these combos are not gonna add too much to the table. They also die quickly to the towers, you know? It's gonna go. And what you wanna do is you wanna attack the archer from the combo. I and mean, once you kill the archer, the combo is kind of getting meaningless, you know, useless. Oh, because I have Sauron. Oof, they are actually hurting me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, but my beast should be able to save me. Everything is gonna shoot at the Witch King if he keeps chasing me. I can, I will turn and attack him too. You better fly away, Witch King. You better fly away, bro. One more. Then we can attack this one with the G button. And it will cause us flying faster. So preventing his Witch King to catch my Witch King. Let's go, 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 go. We know he has an outpost. So we will immediately rotate to his outpost. Immediately without wasting time. And by the time we destroy this castle fully, we will have also the money for capturing the castle. So even if we lose our castle, which I don't think is going to happen. Unless he's going to bring a whole armada of orcs. Okay, even trolls now all of a sudden are rotating. Where are those coming from? No, the Mount Doom is going falling into darkness. I have orcs everywhere. My multi-management, I mean micro-management in this game wasn't also the best. But he's face tanking all these arrows now, you know. It's not good for him. I mean, we are... Okay, never mind. He's gonna leave. GG, well played. I hope you enjoyed the Org Spam Fiesta. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite faction and matchup is. And I will try to upload more games with the faction you want to see and the matchup you want to see. I have seen the comment Rohan against Isengard. I will try to play this game uh, matchup in both ways. You know, as Rohan against Eisen and as Eisen against Rohan for the person who was asking for it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.